Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have a lot of new Kubis to get through, um, quite a bit of them. So, let's start getting through them. This is the Kubi Dandy in S90V, which is pretty awesome. I personally love S90V. Now, this one has the bronzed titanium frame lock with a ceramic ball clip. The clip doesn't feel like it'll uh, pose any trouble, though. It doesn't feel like it has, like, that extreme amount of tension that uh, ceramic ball clips can have. Hidden lanyard in the back. Nice and slim. And I love the deployment on this thing. You have flipping action then you have this fuller that works really really good this is a nice deep fuller that actually kind of grips you back so very easy to reverse flick like super easy then on top of it the lock bar access is super comfortable to disengage and it is <laughs> mega mega smooth so this is a pretty cool one um i you know looking at this one i remember seeing pictures of it i didn't think i'd like it as much as i do i, I like this quite a bit um i'm not a big fan of the sharp intro and plunge grind they did goof that up a little bit however i can always cut it in with my dremel because they did not block my access or put a stop pin in the way for me doing that it has a really cool pattern around the edges that looks pretty cool so yeah that's an awesome one now two new fixed blades this is the only fixed blades out of the bunch and they're the same fixed blade with two different blade shapes we have somewhat of a i don't even know what to call this blade shape i guess kind of a a, a worn cliff clip point tanto i don't know um, it's pretty unique though. So it's not sharpened up here. So I guess it wouldn't be a reverse Tonto, but it does have a little Tonto and it does have a clip point and it's somewhat of a worn cliff because this edge is nice and straight. 14C 28M and you can see it's, uh, somewhat of a, a karambit style knife and it does come with a sheath that has a belt loop for you. Now, this other one is also 14C28N, but this one's a bit stouter. This one has a trailing point, so this one's going to, or this one is a bit stockier. If you can see that stock thickness, it feels quite a bit thicker, as you can see. So, this one's probably a little bit more for self-defense. Not saying that this one can't be, because this one, yeah, this one would still work really good for self-defense. But This one seems like it'd work also really good for utility cutting and stuff. So, this one seems more of a multi-purpose, while this one seems mainly for self-defense. But they're cool, though. And, uh, yeah. And everything from this video will be linked down in the description. I love that they're 14C 28N steel. Nice, tough steel nice stainless all right so let's get to the next knives now the ku332 already did exist now we have it in green micarta and then this yellow g10 i am not a fan of this yellow g10 but they're also in aus 10 steel instead of d2 i think they were in d2 before because i do have one of these um i think i have a red g10 version but love the detents on these. That is one thing, man. Kubi has been knocking their detents out of the park. Just like incredible detents. And this is very strong in a good way. But then look at this drop. Damn near fall shut action. Very stout detent. So... Deep carry clip, um, good ergonomics, very, very comfortable. Sheep's foot blade It's going to be great for utility cutting purposes. And this is a CM design. So this is a design from Colin um, over there also that works with uh, Devo knives. So yeah, let's check out the next ones. Now these next two you guys probably know pretty well. This is the Kubi Momentum also known as the Kubi KU344. This, these ones, instead of being in D2, they are an Aus 10. I've shown this knife a lot on the channel because it is such a good knife. One, you can trap materials the way the drop point drops down. It makes it to where it's going to be good for utility cuts, but then it kind of cants forward, so it helps trap materials, whether you're pulling towards you or pushing away, and it's also got a super, super fidgety action. A very easy-to-use front flipper. They did the jimping just right. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop 
uh, pretty much fall shut action. And the thumb stud action is also really, really good. Yeah, these are some cool ones. Um, I, I've had these on the channel quite a bit, so I'm not going to get into them too much. But uh, these are now in OS 10. So that is very, very cool. Happy to see that. Because some people stay away, not a lot of people like D2, but then there's a lot of people that kind of stay away from D2 uh, for, you know, a couple different reasons. And now this makes it to where, hey, maybe they, they might want to try it since it's going to be an OS 10. Now, here's a new one to me. I've never seen these ones before. And I think this is really cool. So this is the Kubi KU333. Three, the KU333, and I gotta say, I like this one quite a bit for a couple different reasons. One, the the detent on this one is stout in a, in such a good way. You have a front flipping action that you can also use as a regular flipper, somewhat of a claw like blade shape. Um, somewhat of a leaf shaped blade shape that's going to work incredibly well for utility cuts but then also because it can'ts down that way it's going to work like a recurve without the negatives of a recurve when you go to cut straps or anything it's aiming towards you this is going to be I know a lot of people argue you know a liner lock knife shouldn't be a self-defense knife but you know this you know could work in a pinch, you know. If this saw you had, this would be a decent self defense knife. It's aiming at everything you know you're poking at, regardless what grip you're in. But then also as just a, an EDC knife, it's awesome. And you know, obviously it comes in a couple different colors. I think they're Aus 10. Yep, Aus 10 steel. Very very smooth. Great action, man. Fantastic action. Um, deep carry clip that is reversible. I do kind of wish the clip was in set because I do feel it quite a bit. That's the one negative I have with this one is I do feel the clip quite a bit, but this knife is mostly going to be used in pinch grips. So very cool. This is definitely one I'm excited to test out and try more of. And like I said, everything is going to be linked down in the description, but we have more to get through. So the next one is another new one to me, the Kubi KU342. Now the Kubi KU342 is a drop point, yeah, drop point blade, beautiful drop point blade too, good looking blade. Um, I like this black one. I'm not a big fan of JG10, but I will say when it's on a when it has black hardware and a black blade, it actually does kind of look good. Um, I think it's Aus 10 steel. Yes, Aus 10 steel. Very very smooth action. You have thumb studs and flipping action. Very well tuned detents. Um, very comfortable in the hand. Uh, I do feel the clip, but only a little bit. It actually tends to kind of poke out a little bit, so it winds up working out. And if I need to, I can choke up a little bit. Um, you can get by with it in a reverse grip. Utility cuts, it's not uh, the lowest tip for utility cutting, but you could totally do it. Access to the lock bar, eh, it could be better, but it's not bad. It's definitely not a negative. I can get to it fairly easily. Um, I always prefer as much as possible, but it's fine. And yeah, very cool. It's a pretty simple EDC knife, but personally, I think that this this design is a very, very useful EDC design that uh, could be popular, you know, just because it's, it's a good size. It's not too big, not too small, great blade shape, great handle shape, good action. And, um, you know, you got, um, it's got a lot going for it. Let's get to the, the last two. So the last two are, now these I think are kind of ugly, <laughs> but to each their own, right? Maybe it's the colors, but this is the KU317. I think the colors are ugly. So that right there, like if it was in my Carta or black G10 or blue G10 or gray, maybe I'd like it a little bit more, but man, it's hard for me to get over this, this, this yellow. I do not like the yellow and then the jade green, eh, you know, what's cool about this is you can dye it, right? These could be Rit dyes. You can turn it to whatever color you want, which is pretty cool. Um, Aus 10 steel, and it does have a deep carry clip, a very deep carry clip. Seems like it'll work good. 
Um, it is extremely comfortable in the hand. You're going to be able to use it in every grip very comfortably. So if you need to cut straps, you need to push forward. I will say it's a useful design. Um, the, the detent is solid. Man, de Kubi is just, they're killing it with their detents, man. Good flipper tab. Nice, comfortable flipper tab. Look at that flipper tab. This thing is super comfortable. Good access to the lock bar. Very smooth drop. Yeah, very cool. So, there you guys go. Just a quick look at some of the new knives from Kubi. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.